How's it going everyone? Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to watch One Piece episode 377. Last episode ended with Kuma using Ursus Shock. At the end of the episode, they showed all of Thriller Bark disappearing. Let's see what happened to everybody. If you like to support our channel, our Patreon link is down in the description below. You'll get a few weeks ahead of the YouTube uploads, and you get a full on reaction to the One Piece series. If you're interested in those, make sure you check it out. Now on to the anime, Ikima Show. No way. Everything's gone. Show the. No, it's right there. It's right there. It's just. Oh it was my just god. a prank. What? Well, you can see like everything was gone. Like, they destroyed man. the like... whole place. <laughs> Where is everyone? Whoa. Everyone's gone. What the fuck? He sounds so heavy, his footsteps. Oh my god, they're actually all knocked out. Where's the crew? They're still here. Oh, everyone's here. He's gonna snatch Luffy. No. <laughs> oh my god! The sound effects they play for his <laughs> double fruit powers. That's gonna so land crazy. on someone. What? <gasps> oh! oh my god! <gasps> yeah, he's still up! No Holy way! Shit. <gasps> no, he landed a tap. What? what the fuck? What the hell? What? He's a cyborg. He's a cyborg. Is that why he's so huge? He's like Frankie. <gasps> Wait, what? Oh, what? Oh. what? Oh my god, he is. Oh my god! He's firing his laser! Okay, I'll get out. Holy oh. crap. I can't that's it. why Sanji can't kick him. That's, that's why he hurt his leg. Mm -hmm. How is Zoro still up? Dude, oh, Zoro's man. a monster. <laughs> he survived the bomb and he still attacked him. It melted the metal. Cyborg Frankie to a Zibun Chino. Holy Did crap, the so budget much? in this. <laughs> it so shiny. Whatever Pacifista to your barrel, Madame Mikanse no safe no Ningen Human weapon. Pacifista. Pacifista. Doesn't mean the government later just made their own weapon? That they're trying to like Pluton and stuff? Is that what he is? <gasps> Dr. Vegapunk? Isn't that what the Dove Fruit? Oh my god, he actually has like the power of a Why focus on his breathing so <laughs> I can't believe Dude, he just Zoro's said that. So what? Manly. He's so loyal to Luffy. Oh my god. Mm. Is that what the Luffy's voice is? 
why didn't they make a make him any more sexier? <laughs> oh my god. Holy crap. Oh, why? <laughs> you still have two? No way. <笑>てめえ。俺の命取っとけ。今はまだ海軍は俺を軽く見てるが、後々この一味で最も優勢な存在になるのは<笑> I can't believe they got these guys Dude, this are is monsters. insane. <laughs> this Sasha can barely stand. I know. He's shaking. Holy crap. Yo, this episode's oh intense. They're all willing to sacrifice mm. themselves. No, they're not. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, they're fighting! Oh, they're oh fighting! My for, god. Oh my god! <laughs> Why? <gasps> what the heck? A sort of... Oh my god. Come on, Kuma, just leave, please. <gasps> He's actually... He hasn't spoken a word. This will make it even less satisfying than before. Like, there's no way he would do it. Right? That was his whole thing. He won't do it unless but he But maybe he respects Zoro. Satisfied. Huh? That's what I'm hoping, that's what right? I'm hoping. He might just do it just because... これで麦わらに手を出せば恥をかくのは恩に切る。約束は守る。その代わりお前に地獄を見せる。What the hell? What is he doing? It's red. He can do that? Oh my god. Technically, he healed him. What the hell? He can do that? It's not even a tangible thing. <laughs> what? Time. Oh what my the God. <laughs> No way! That small amount, that was the even... Yeah! Dude, what? <gasps> Zoro! Oh, oh my God! God. I kind of believe this is even happening right now. Everybody's knocked out, they cannot do anything <laughs> to stop him! What the frick? <sighs> They're not even gonna show us. Are you serious? He knows, he knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows that Luffy is Dragon's son. What? The world government doesn't know. Why does he know that? I don't know how he knows that. Always oh, far from that. Dude. They don't I, even know. I can't. Believe what's going on. <laughs> what? That's so OP. Depending how he uses it, he can like heal people. Yeah, he can take all the pain away. He could technically do that and defeat the enemy. Oh, 
いたあの七部会どこに He fucking tanked that shit, did he? Oh my god! Did... Is he okay? Holy shit, there's blood everywhere! Oh my god! Dude, he's a monster! What, can you... Fuck! Oh my god! No! Yeah! yeah! Nothing happened! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, he's... Zoro is... Zoro is like the shit man, like... Holy <gasps> shit! He's not even oh. he's not even gonna say what happened. He just took it, and that's it. He saved everyone. Kuma can't even take him. Yeah. After that, because he, he was expecting Zoro to just die. To die, right? But I, I'm assuming he saw him live, and then he was like, "Holy fuck! There's nothing he can do." Because it'll bring shame upon himself. Yeah, to kill someone after yeah. doing that. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> that was crazy. He's so oh my god. This episode is like Zoro make, fan service. I think they made Zoro like, you know, one of the top crew members. Dude, he's. Holy oh my fuck. god. He's he just, so cool. <laughs> dude, he just. Dude, he carried. Literally, he just like I took can't. on the warlord himself. Oh my god, I can't. Dude, I, like I said, man, I didn't think they could make him any more cooler, any more sexier. <laughs> like, what? Like, they could have they gave it to... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Zoro. We should have a figure out when, of him in this state. <laughs> Dude, this place man, is like all blood. It's he all got, blood, this one. Holy he got frick, shit. He saw hell. He literally. did. He's, Luffy a, he's a demon. Yeah, he is. Technically, yeah, he is a yeah. demon. He survived that. He survived how and came out of it. And he came back out of it and he's not saying anything. It just seems like he's like... He doesn't even have the energy to talk. <laughs> his, his eyes are like bloodshot red and he's just like, nothing happened. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, god his dude. perseverance is insane, he, he right? Is bad, like, yeah. wow. He is a badass. Mm. Holy crap. It's like he was accepting death at that mm -hmm. moment, but he still has it in him to still fight against that. And even still if survive. The, yeah. Yeah. Because if he give up, then he would have just died. His ambition, he yeah. would have lost it. Yeah. He wouldn't exactly. become the greatest swordsman. Yeah, him. exactly. He still has that ambition, even though he accepts that. He was gonna take it and like die. Yeah. He still have the his ambition is stronger. Yeah, he was still right? he still had that in him. You can't, you can't take that away from him, you know. It's his character. He's so cool. Holy ah! shit! I, I, can't, I didn't even, I did not see that coming. This is crazy. This episode, mm. holy crap! This whole episode was mm. like a Zoro. I don't know what is it even. Fan service. Fan service. <laughs> I think this is like to, wo to worship Zoro after this, man. Look what the hell the man just did. God, Holy God, shit. God, Zoro. He like saved everyone and and didn't say a word. I oh, know. Oh my God. Just wait. Oh my God. I can't wait until next episode when the whole crew goes and is like, what the fuck even happened? Yeah. And he's not going to tell them. He's not, not going to tell yeah. them. Yeah. He don't want them to worry of and whatever. Yeah. Or he doesn't see it like he did something great for them. Yeah. To him, it's just something he should have done. He had to do mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. God damn, that was insane. <laughs> that was so When that little, awesome. that small bubble, the red bubble, did so much damage and then next thing you know, he just charged into it. Holy shit. Yeah, right. I think because he already prepared for him, himself yeah, for it. I think did. that is Kuma's downfall. It's letting him know what to expect. Yeah. Right? The if, taste of it, mm, I think he prepared himself. Yeah, mentally. because if he gave that at the full scale attack in the mm -hmm. first place, then Zoro will get fucked up. Because like yeah. that small one already like screwed him up so mm -hmm. badly, right? He but almost I think, got knocked out mm, from it. But it's because he got a taste of it. Now yeah. he knows what he is going up against. Like he can prepare himself. <laughs> Holy yeah. crap, he's mentally, like, spiritually, he, I, he, I don't know what he did. He did <sighs> oh my god. I'm like blushing up <laughs> so he was that so was cool. Crazy. <laughs> and this episode like they uh, like up the animation too. Yeah, right. Just for it's not even a fight. Uh, it's just it's just showcasing Zoro, uh, right? Oh my god, yeah, it's so, so detailed. Cool. And then when Sanji showed up too, oh my god, he didn't even listen. He was like, "Yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah, like, say uh, what you want, but yeah. I'm still gonna do it." <laughs> He's gonna do it. <laughs> mm, that's so cool. Honestly, it was such a surprise when he came in with the attack. Was that this episode? Did that happen this episode? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. 
He came out and he attacked Kuma. Yeah, like how did nowhere. he even? How he even like survived that bomb? Yeah, it like knocked everyone out. He came out, still had energy to land an attack. Mm. That was wild. So Kuma, he, Damn, he has think, a lot of abilities. I'm so interested in him. He's such a cool, interesting character. I yeah. think I don't think he's. I think he has morals. Yeah, he like, has morals. Yeah. To a certain extent, right? Mm -hmm. Like, for example, he didn't want to kill Sanji and Zoro in the earlier episodes mm -hmm. because he said, oh, I wouldn't find pleasure from that. Like, it sounds like maybe he's saying it in some kind of sick way yeah. before. But I think from this episode, the fact that he let Zoro go, it showed that he has a certain standard for himself. He, I think he wanted to give them, like, a fighting chance. Mm. If, even if they had one. Like, mm. We don't know if they, they stood a chance against yeah. him, but it seems like... He would have enjoyed either the fight with them or give them a better chance to fight mm. him. And he says he's a man of his words, yeah, right? Like right before he, he does it. Yeah. Mm. I think he doesn't want to go after people that he knows is like in a weakened state. Like he wants them, even if they are weaker than him, he still wants them to have like 100% chance mm -hmm. at their full capabilities mm -hmm. to go after, to attack him. Um, him and defend themselves against yeah, him, like right? He, like he gave them a fair chance. Mm, mm. Even if it was like he had, he is way uh, above them. Mm -hmm, he still mm -hmm. wants them to have a chance themselves yeah. to show their own cap, use their own capability. So I think he does have some kind of standard for himself and some kind of moral. It's like he's not, you know, some these scum, scummy characters. Yeah, he's he's definitely doesn't seem like he's a scummy character. Like yeah. he does have a sense of justice, and he mm. knows he has his own morals. Mm. And he no dragon. That was so weird. So the from the way he say it, though, I feel like he. It seems like he friends. personally knows. Yeah, does it feel like he's friends with Dragon or and something? He's working. What if he's a spy? He's only working for the world government. And then he's Drake. giving info to Dragon. Know, no way. Be, that would be like that insane. Is, is Oda setting this up? It could be. Is that why he's sucking up to them and like doing all their ordeals and everything for <sighs> them? That could, could be. be. Like right? he's probably the favorite warlord, right? Honestly, yeah. yeah he probably is. And then the if they do warlord. not know, like his relation with dragon it doesn't seem like they really keep an eye out on the warlords yeah. and like what they're doing really so like mm -hmm. he could be feeding could info be, yeah. to dragon without yeah. them even knowing like it wouldn't make sense that the world government knows that dragon has a son but for kuma to know yeah maybe he does have some kind of relationship with dragon no he has to because he's saying it like he knows dragon like yeah. this line right where does he say Sasuna. I should have a certain no less from your son. It's like you That's wouldn't true. say that if you didn't know that person. Like, oh, you. It seems like son? a good term too. Yeah, it seems like they're on good terms. That's weird. Yeah. Considering he's a warlord, mm. right? But it's, maybe it's like you say, maybe he's a spy. That's pretty funny. Info. Maybe he is a spy and he's friends with dragons. Kind of like how Mihawk is like buddy buddy with um, Shanks, and they drink together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. But then, uh, but then I don't know because if he is friends with Dragon, does that mean he was never gonna give Luffy up to the government? He's doing his job. Friend? I don't know. He was doing his job. I don't know. Like sometimes, like we can't like tell. Well, if you're suspecting that he is trying to give info mm -hmm. to Dragon, right? Then that means like, oh, would he have really given up Luffy? Or would he have taken him or something? I yeah, don't know. that's why. Now, mm, now we don't know now. Yeah, we don't know if he would have done that. Yeah. I mean, it seemed like he was gonna do it though, so mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know if we can see. I don't know if we can assume that he's conspiring <laughs> with Dragon right now. He he is something though. He's a freaking mm -hmm. cyborg. Yeah. He's a human weapon. Doesn't that mean he's kind of like Pluton and um Pluton, um, uh, Poseidon. Poseidon, mm. like a like a weapon. Is that what they're trying to compare him to? Mm. Or, he no? or is he, he just a cyborg? I think he's just a cyborg. He's just a cyborg. Why, why he, he say he's a human weapon? As in he's human. as in he's a cyborg. Yeah, I think it's just like a literal term. Oh, okay. Yeah, like he's a humanized okay, fine. weapon. Fine, 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 well, fine, fine. <laughs> so he was human before and he had this double fruit, but then I guess since he worked for Dr. Vegapunk experimented on him yeah because he works for body. the government he yeah. has they have the resources to do stuff like this to mm -hmm. give them enhancements basically yep. yep and i guess he accepted it he, he yeah he took mm, the he took deal. it 
oh, human weapon. Pacifist. I don't know. He has a name. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's I'm seeing like... him as like he is literally a Poseidon or a. So they're trying to make him similar to kind uh, of to those an weapons. ancient weapon or something.、Mm, it、right? could be. It could be. Is that what they're trying to say here? Does that mean he has a weakness if he's incomplete? I feel like he do. But then, like, is he ever going to be complete? Like, what's the definition of incomplete? Like, this, are they still working on him or work in progress? Or is he like a failed one? Because they're saying ah, pacifista. Like, so there. Wait, I mean, what? Did、more? he say that? Yeah. There's more. Yeah, I'm wondering if there is more. Don't add a.、Uh, oh. Because then if they say if they say the, then I'm like, okay, he is the one, right? But、yeah. now you're pointing、mm, that out. So the ah、uh, part. That's scary. Then、yeah. that means there could be other ones, right? And then since the this is he as a result Actually, of experimentation from Doctor Vegapunk, how do we know that he is not performing experimentation on other people? True, true. Right? Maybe. By saying he's incomplete is as in they're not really、one? yeah failed one like he's a prototype he's, he's something yeah he's a test yeah he、experiment. was one that they were testing on yeah and there's somebody else that they are trying to create this completed this completed one、stuff. yeah hard to say right now so that, that the world government can use、mm -hmm. I guess、yeah. maybe maybe in a way it's kind of similar to what you say because we know the world government wants the ancient weapons but they can't get them because they、so、need they Robin right so they're trying to maybe make their own. <sighs> oh my god! Yeah, honestly, yeah. it sounds like something they would do. Yeah, why not?、Mm. They still they, want power. And then didn't you say like, oh, you're suspecting maybe the government will like attack? Um, what's it called, Whitebeard? If If our theory regarding Ace and Blackbeard is correct, right, then that means you were saying that oh maybe they are going to take this opportunity to attack Whitebeard. Maybe their secret weapon is、mm. the Pacifista. Yeah. Because it seems like Zoro didn't know what the heck he was talking about. So this、mm -hmm. term is something that is not really well known yeah, yet. Meaning it's like a secretive thing.、Mm -hmm. Not secretive, but it's like nobody really knows about it yet. Because it's not revealed yet. Because it has. Exactly, it hasn't been revealed. But、and、what like, a better place to test it on! And if and if we never slashed open his shirt, we wouldn't have even known about、cyborg. this, right? Yeah. So I feel like maybe this pacifista thing is like a secret thing that the government is working、mm, on,、yeah. and then maybe that's their secret weapon to use against the four emperors. Because like we talked about this before, it's like oh, they are a period of peace, but that does not mean that they are not working. To, um, to take control. To take control and prepare themselves in case of anything happening, yeah, right? Like, so they could use this on. Example, they can use this on dragon. They can use this on pirate. Like very useful、mm. to them. Doctor Vegapunk, I'm like really suspicious about him、they、though. They keep bringing him up because they keep bringing him up, and it's like this guy has is 500 years ahead. Well, he did <laughs> like, make the the items. Yeah, that's why I mean. Eat the dove and he, yeah, like, like how. how do How does this guy have that much knowledge? You know what I mean? Like five、yeah. hundred years ahead. That's like multiple generations. Like how is you know if you're if he's young, I mean, I'm, I'm like imagining an old guy. But what if he's young? Yeah, that's why I'm so suspicious. Suspicious of him. If it's really just a matter of him being smart, or there's something else. Because like, how can someone be so smart that they're Five hundred years ahead. He ate the smart smart fruit. That's insane. Like that's、mm -hmm. ridiculous. Smart smart fruit. You think he has a devil fruit? Yeah, why not? Why does it always? Why does the devil fruit always need a fight? Maybe he has like a brain one. He's a big brain, a big brain fruit. <laughs> a big brain devil fruit. Yeah, maybe.、Uh, yeah, I feel like it's an impossible. Like scientific knowledge, dude. Damn, it feels good to be on like the world government side if you're like a well-known scientist. Yeah, you can just do whatever the hell、mm. you want. Compare the compare him to Doctor Hogback. He's like hiding, doing his experiments, and this guy's like doing、yeah. whatever the hell he wants. Hogback is an idiot. He could have been working for the government. Yeah, he could have honestly. Because he was he was such a creep though. He chose Sindri <laughs> over, over his own.、Whatever. Yeah, over just being a normal freaking decent human being. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. It really helps with the channel. And if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Peace.